Hey, I'm Jim Weber, the Fox 13 Weather Center. Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So things are starting to get a lot more active in the tropics. We have three areas that we are watching right now. First stop is Tropical Storm Fred, and this is uh, really starting to flare up with a lot more convection, looking a lot more like a tropical system over the past, uh, what, 24 to 36 hours or so now. Now, it still has that strong wind shear, but despite that, this system because it's moving over those very warm waters of the gulf of mexico and we talk about this all the time the warm waters of the gulf what they can do it has really allowed this system to organize itself get a lot more of that deep convection and strengthen winds right now are up to 60 miles an hour uh, you're starting to see more and more of those strong rain bands working their way on shore the center of circulation right here so it, it still has a little bit more time that it could continue to strengthen a little bit more. Now, along the coastline, up across the panhandle, there is that uh, storm surge threat, and then obviously some very heavy rains and some gusty winds as this works its way on shore. So right now, located about 55 miles to the southwest of Apalachicola, top winds right now are at 60 miles an hour. It's moving towards the north at 10 miles an hour. So it will make its way onshore later on this afternoon. Obviously quickly weekend, but still dumping a lot of rain as it works its way up through Georgia, up into Tennessee as we head through the next couple of days. There you see the rainfall totals uh, in that three to seven inch range in some areas getting even higher amounts. Some of those isolated pockets will continue to see some pretty heavy rains over the next couple of days. Now, if you look down into the Caribbean, here is Tropical Storm Grace. And this has been dealing with some pretty strong wind shear across the Caribbean. It looks like over the next several days, that wind shear will continue to be a bit of an issue for this system. So really not expecting to see a whole lot of strengthening with this. But there's also some very warm waters across the Caribbean. So eventually it will start to strengthen. It does look like once it gets over to the Gulf of Mexico, that's where the wind shear will likely start to decrease towards the latter part of this week and that should allow for much more strengthening as we head uh, through say about uh, Thursday night and into about Saturday. That's when we're going to see the strongest periods of this intensifying. We also have tropical depression number eight. This is likely to eventually become Henri but right now moving towards the south at nine miles an hour. Look at this forecast track as we go through the next couple of days, pulling a big loop around Bermuda. So obviously they will be dealing with some of the swells and some of the uh, activity with this as we go through the next several days. But eventually it looks like it'll strengthen and head out over open water. Good news there. So look at the GFS, lots of activity. You've got, you've got uh, three different systems on there with Fred, Grace, and uh, looks like eventually Henri. There is Grace working its way into the Western Caribbean by the time we get into Wednesday evening, and then working its way across the Yucatan eventually uh, near the Bay of Campeche, the Southern Gulf of Mexico, and then just continues to work its way on towards the West. So lots going on, and we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.